the South, heavy racism for sure, not going to count, right? At the end of the day, do I think everybody is racist? No. Do I think every Caucasian person is racist? No. Like, you know what I'm saying? None of that. However, I do feel it's an understanding of certain words that are like off limits to certain groups of people to say to another group of people. I'm just going to be real. Um, and let me start off light with what I'm saying. I cannot stand for men to like for a man to say a bitch to me. I can't stand that because at that point, I feel like you have lost as a man because that's why you're resorting to calling me a bitch or whatever, right? It shows weakness, right? Now, me and my homegirls may be laughing and joking and she's like, bitch, really? I'm not going to look at it crazy, you know what I'm saying? But if, like I said, a man calls it, I'm going to look at him weak, okay? Or if a chick I have no rapport with is calling me it, it's going to be looked at differently, right? And hopefully that's a good example for where I'm about to go with it, okay? I understand everybody's community is built differently. You may have primarily black people there. You may have a mix of black and white. You may have, um, you know, Mexicans there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get everybody's community differently. People are brought up differently, okay? In my community, okay, and where I frequent grew up, we definitely had um, white people around. We had Mexicans around. Um, but one thing for sure, I in my real life, okay, in my real life, have never heard a white person call or say the N-word. I have not heard that. And I do have, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I mean, like I said on YouTube, my cousin has a homeboy that's white. And I call him little cousin. Like, he is cool. He is part of the family. He cool. He comes to the cookouts, all that. He, I mean, he's he lives like, you know, he, he has never said the N-word. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So... I, I might give y'all an example. I used to listen to um, A Boogie With A Hoodie. He was like one of the only New York rappers I actually listened to. I mean, I've never been secret about that. I don't really listen to outside like Southern music. But I did used to listen to him. Until he did the song with 6 9 And not because 6 9 I always do that. <laughs> 6 9 is considered a snitch. But because 6 9 on that song said N-word, I don't care what you are, you're not black, right? Again, I, again, I had this conversation on Clubhouse before, and they were like, well, that he grew up, da, da, da. I get it, all good. But I don't agree with it. In my community, you can, you could have been on the floor on a pallet, okay, at my grandma's house. Right, and we're gonna treat you like cousins, okay? You family, but you ain't about to say the n word, like, period. <laughs> like, my mama could have gave you her titty when you was a baby, you're not about to say the n word, and not like it's just that's just how I was brought up, that's just how it goes, right? At all, when I go back to my original home, which is Detroit, which is. Um, I was born there, but again, I don't, I wasn't raised there because I left early and all I know is the South. However, even there, and I have my mom's mom is mixed with black and white. Okay. Meaning her mom is white. I don't, I have never heard none of them say the N word like for sure. So I'm not, that's, I'm not part of that culture that hears that. So when now, don't get me wrong. I do understand that people say it. I do. I don't agree with it, okay? Just period. I don't agree with it. So, right, the reason why I don't agree with it is because it's going to forever hit differently. Now, I understand people say, well, the, the uh and the er, nah, forget it. It's all one. 
I don't care. Okay. It's showing lack of whatever anyway. So I don't. Okay. I don't even like for another black person to say it to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I get it. People use it. It's slang, whatever. But this is my thing, right? I don't care how cool you are, okay? If you say particular words in an argument, it's going to hit different if your skin color is different. Period. So for everybody to be like, oh, they went through the struggle and they're they have a past to say it. Okay, that's cool. If you cool with it, I don't like it. Again, everybody to each his own, but I don't like it. And this is why. Because prime example, okay? If me and a black man is arguing, which I don't I remember anyway, I'm example. And he called me a black bitch. I'm going to be pissed for sure. Um, however, not going to look at it as racist or nothing. But if a Caucasian man says black bitch, it's going to hit way differently than just when a black man just said period. Okay? That's one example. Another example. Um, and I'm not going to say the words. So I'm trying to be mindful because we're on the internet and I ain't trying to get hit with that because I'm just voicing my opinion on things, right? If you call, if a black person calls a white person, the word that starts with red and then end with the other word, it's going to hit different than a Caucasian person saying that to another Caucasian person. Okay? Now, doesn't mean you're racist because you're using it. No, but it's going to hit different. Okay. Now, it has been brought to my attention that 1090J said the N-word on the live when talking about this, this room with this paper. I never heard him say it before. Never knew he did say it. So, on my live on YouTube... You know, a couple of people sent it to me like, yo, he said it. It made me think about the conversation. And again, I rocks with 1090J, but I don't rock with him saying the N-word. And that's just my opinion. I get he's gang member allegedly. You know, I get all that. I don't know where he grew up at. And if he did, like, again, even if he was at the food stamp office with my grandma, I still ain't with him saying the N-word. So, I'm just speaking on it that I don't agree with it. Again, if, again, especially on the internet. Like, if you say that at home around people that was there with you through the struggle and they're okay because all this, or oh, I got a black card pass or whatever, you, how the hell you can get a pass? The United Negro Fund can cut you a pass. That don't mean every doggone black person is going to be cool with you saying it. So, I don't even agree with that. Now, I understand if your crew, your section is okay with that. Cool. But to get on the internet and say it just like it's nothing is crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Uh, and that's not just for him, anybody. Because now, right, I look at what you said differently because you said it. Because now I had to run back the audio and listen to it again. Why did you even get to the point to say it? Like, for what? It wasn't just a you know, conversation where um, you was just talking, okay? It was a heated conversation about the rumors about you, and now you're saying the N-word. Now, shout out to Seti Nash. He said, that's normal in Cali, okay? Shout out to Music 101 who said, that's just how it goes in Florida. Cool. I'm in South Carolina. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it hit differently here, but that, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I, don't, I don't rock with that. Um, Again, hey, to each his own, if you say it, don't say it to me, for sure. But uh, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way hearing that. That's an unfortunate situation Um, to hear that word just used like that. And, again, it just floated off of people's um, mind like it doesn't matter. And I'm just like... Let's, let's be real. And this is, listen, 
this is me talking. This is not the Mickey Truth brand. It's, this is me. This is how I really feel in real life. I don't have nothing against no races. Um, like races, colors, or whatever. I don't have nothing against them. Because like I said, my family is mixed of all types of people. Okay? However, it comes a point, and like Tyler said, it's the history of the word. So, I'm going to give you an example. For, like, the example I gave about a man calling a woman a bitch in an argument shows defeat. You're, you have nothing left to say besides jabs. So, to hear that 1090 Jade used the word, the N-word, it shows defeat. Why do you feel defeated that you had to say the word? Now, mind you, I have to listen to the original live. Um, shout out to Remo from No Jumper to hear the actual context. But regardless of why or how it was said, it was said. And I personally don't agree with that. Again, gang politics, prison politics, what, that has nothing to do with using the N-word. Okay? Now, I'm, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know. It's it's like kind of it's. I'm irritated with it because I'm shocked, right? That that was said on the internet, and I actually don't. So the clip that was sent to me was from somebody else's video, okay? And then I did reach out to a couple people, bloggers that said they recall hearing it. So I believe it was. <clears throat> Hold on, give me a second. They chopped it down and put it on repeat, so... He already got found guilty along with everybody else that didn't do nothing. What he could have did has been like, nah, this nigga... Okay, already got found guilty, so it was around that part. So, hold on, let me go... Because I do want to hear... <sighs> this, is, this is crazy. But, hey, I'm going to... Um, Dang, how you spell his name? I'm going to have to call um, people out, though, once I hear the whole thing. Because, listen, okay? I believe so, too. That's why I'm here. Hold on, y'all. I got to go blow my nose real quick. Y'all got a headache. Like, this really, like, um, was, you know, I, I really, I was shocked, for sure. He already got found guilty, along with everybody else that didn't do nothing. What he could have did has been like, nah, this nigga, he didn't do nothing, he didn't do nothing. He All right, so, on Sadie Nash, shout out to Sadie Nash, that's whose video I'm looking at. It's on his video. It's around the 15 minute and 13 second mark. Okay, so I'm gonna play it again. So he clearly says it. Um, I'll play it real quick. I went back so we can get the context of it. And this is when, so if it's the one with somebody else, what I'm looking at is just him and, um, Remo, those are the only two people in the screen. So if something else was said later, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, this not all mine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm on live. We're talking about something. Y'all shut the door for me. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to play it. Fine. We already went to confinement for the shit, so he already got found guilty. I hope y'all can hear that. Along with everybody else that didn't do nothing. What he could have did is been like, nah, this nigga, he ain't do nothing, he didn't do nothing, he didn't do nothing. 
But he let everybody go down off of some shit that he did. So basically, he said, no, I haven't watched it yet. Um, he basically was saying like, yo, he could have said this, this ninja, whatever, whatever. I mean, hey, listen, I haven't heard nobody, I guess nobody feels no type of way about it. I mean, I don't like it. Um, I don't have a problem with 1090J. I don't, uh, um, condone him saying the N word at all. I mean, I don't, that's just my personal uh, view of it, I don't condone them. But I got to call out the online community, especially my fellow African American community online. Okay, y'all have been under my comments before. Um, anytime I give a shout out to 1091, it's content related, and said, Guess what y'all say? He's a culture vulture, he's this, that, he's that. However, he literally said the N-word on a lie full of African-American people hosted by an African-American and nobody is saying that. And this is why I just stick to my view of certain things and stay out of the masses because the outrage be crazy to me and it be inconsistent, okay? Just to be real. Because people say... 1090 Jake is a culture vulture because he's running content on African Americans, okay? That have snitch half the time, okay? It's not something he put out, it's they did it. But he's labeled a culture vulture because he's a white guy that's doing it, right? Cool. I never looked at it like that because, again, he's a content creator. Unfortunately, we can say what we want. Us as African Americans, we buy into that shit and we want to know it. That's why a person like me who doesn't per se do exposing snitches, I just talk about court cases that may include snitching. That's what us people, African Americans for the most part, want to know. When um, I was asked on IG to do Caucasian entertainers or whatever with charges, it's really none, right? So, again, this is just what we want to watch. However, how are we saying, and I say we as just in the African American community online, saying he's a culture vulture because he's exposing African American snitches, but then say it's okay or disregard the fact that he literally said the N-word on live. I'm confused. Like, that's why, that, that's why, that's why it's like that. Because if anything, if you ask me now, that's culture approach. Feeling that you can say that word just like that. And I stand on that. Like I said, I have no smoke with 1098. And we have disagreed before, right? But, and this, this is just how I view it regardless who it is. Like I said... I have no issue with 6 9 even though they're, he's, you know, he informed, told, snitch, whatever. But I didn't like the fact that he said the N-word on the song with a boogie with a hoodie. And, again, I'm not going to go, like I tell y'all in the comments, to say, oh, I don't, I'm not going to support the song no more. So, I don't even listen to a boogie no more, all because of that. And I actually like his music, but my way of... I guess protesting is not indulging in it. You know what I'm saying? So, again, listen. Everybody is entitled to, you know, do what it is. Because, like I said, said in that, said California is like that. A New York, people say it's like that. Florida is like that. That's cool, right? But right now, saying it on the internet, okay? On the internet, you are now exposing that to people outside of your community okay like i said we don't know what you got going on in real life but as a white guy on the internet right saying the n-word that's crazy because guess what if it was another um white guy that said it you get what i'm saying 
So I'm confused to how we rally up. And again, not me personally, because like I said, I never saw it like that with him. But the masses online rally up. He's a culture vulture because he exposes African-American snitches. But they're not saying he's a culture vulture for saying the N-word on live. Like, it's crazy. Now, I will say, and this live will remain up, again, 1090 Jake is definitely the GOAT at content that he does. Paperwork, he's definitely good at it, for sure. Okay? Even with the allegations of him supposedly snitching or whatever, don't take away from if he exposed you as a snitch, you still a snitch, even if he becomes one. You get what I'm saying? I was more so disappointed that he allowed somebody to expose him instead of him exposing himself. But cool, whatever. But I'm not down with him coming online saying the N-word online. We're not in no hood in your community, none of that. Mm -mm. That's not cool. Same way, the baby. The baby got down, what, um, canceled for saying a slur. So... Again, why are we okay with that? But say if he exposed your favorite rapper as a snitch, now he's a culture vulture. But we literally all sat there and watched 1090 Jake or listened to 1090 Jake say the N-word on live with a black host with a bunch of black people watching it. And again, I didn't even know that that's what was said until today. And I'm speaking out about it and I actually fucks with 1090 Jake. But I don't condone him using the N-word online at all. Okay? That, again, my examples, like I said earlier, what to do, Birmingham Music Club, is this. No matter if you're not racist or none of that, no matter what, when you say certain words to a certain race and you're not that race, it's going to always hit differently. Period. It's going to always hit differently. And that's why how I was brought up, you don't say those words. Okay? Like I said, women can call each other bitches <clears throat> all day long if they're homies. Another chick that's not part of their crew say it, it's up. A man say it, it's up. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, white people can call each other the word that start with an R for the first word and the N for the second word all day long. But if an African American come and say it, it's going to hit differently. For sure. Okay? They're going to be like, huh? Again. If, let me, let me. <clears throat> Matter of fact, this is a better example. For those who have the communities where they say it just like that. If a Caucasian person, male or female, get called the N word, it's going to be funny. At all times. Even if there, somebody is upset and, and calling them that. It will not hit as if they said it to a black person. That right there should tell you we're not the same when it comes to that. And I get people that say, oh, it wasn't the er, it was the uh. Regardless, it's still in the same category. It's going to hit different. If you get called that the same way if somebody calls a... Black person, the word that start with the R and the second word start with the N, that shit ain't going to hit like if you say that to an actual Caucasian person. Mexican. If you call a black person the slur that starts with the W for the first word, the B for the second word, it ain't, ain't going to hit the same as if you say that to a Mexican person. Like, for real. So, again, I, I'm... The selective outrage with this so-called culture voting is crazy to me. And this is why I don't indulge in it. Because when it's convenient, when somebody is being exposed to what they are. Because, again, if you have snitch paperwork, you are a snitch, period. No matter what color you are. And, to be honest, it doesn't even matter who exposes it. If it's there, it's ac accurate and it's factual, that what you are. Okay? Period. So what he has going on again has nothing to do with you being a snitch. And I feel like, and I said this on my live, although these statements are being transpired with 1090 Jake, 
I don't got no statements on me. I ain't never made no statement on nobody, period. And I'm still going to pull your work. So just because he's going through what he's going through, don't make it safe. If you snitch, you snitch, period. And even those who have been exposed by him already, you're still a snitch, okay? It's just if he did snitch, if 1090J did snitch, guess what? You just got exposed to snitching by a snitch. I mean, that's all it's going to come down to. But as far as the culture vulture part, <clears throat> where are all the videos now to say 1090J is a culture vulture because he's sitting here on live saying the N-word? Not because he's exposing an African-American snitch. That's not culture vulture. That's just facts. So, again, y'all, I just felt the need because none of my male counterparts is saying anything. They're saying, oh, it's cool. It's calm. All right. Whatever. You know, none of the, the viewers are commenting about it, okay? None of that. 